about that time. Let's get into some real talk sports. Okay, you're rocking with the queen, Miss Valencia King, bringing often again the views live from the scene. Real talk sports in the house. Valencia King holding it down. Hello, beautiful people. I am Valencia King, and welcome to another amazing episode of The Dialogue, as you can see. That's what we about to get into. Now, this is a very special Black History Month edition because I mean, Black History Month is in the month of February, but I'm Black 24 seven. So I show up and I show out every single time. That's how we get down here on the dialogue. And I'm excited because Nate is with us. Nate Hinton of the Dallas Mavericks. How you doing, Nate? I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm glad oh to be gosh. here. Yes, I'm so Thanks excited. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you. Um, so as I've been kind of learning more of your story since becoming a Dallas Maverick and a little bit prior to, it's just been like, wow, this dude got some stuff to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely for sure. Got a story. Yes, de definitely got a story. And me having the gift to gab, it just goes hand in hand. So we're going to jump into this special edition because... Listen, I like to have fun. Some people might call it crazy. I just call it regular day Valencia. So here we go. We're going to jump into a segment called Joy. If you guys are familiar, the hashtag Black Boy Joy and Black Girl Magic started trending a few years back and Black History Month is right now. So we're gonna get into some Black Joy, the things that bring you joy. So for starters, I'm a foodie, Nate, I'm a foodie. So, what is your favorite cereal that brings you joy? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ooh. Mm -hmm. okay. I can never have just one bowl. I got to have multiple bowls of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel that. I feel that. Mine is French Toast. French Toast Crunch. French, French, French Toast Crunch? Yes. I'm not going to say Frosted Flakes, but it's all good. Frosted Flakes is up there. I got yeah. Frosted Flakes in the pantry right now. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Now, okay, when you do when you do have frosted flakes, do you take the sugar as is or do you add some more in there? I just take the sugar as is. My brother, on the other hand, he used to add the, the extra sugar. He was a sweet tooth. So uh, me, I just eat as it is. Right, right. For sure. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned sweet tooth. So next is what candy brings you joy? A Reese's Cups. <laughs> Are you going to lost my twin right now? Like, <laughs> I don't know what Reese's Cups you all too. Yes, and here's my thing Reese's Cups. Uh, if you guys know, you know, there are the four pack, the king size, but the standard is the two size. I just don't know the audacity people get when they ask me for a Reese's Cup and I only have two. Like, well, this isn't a Kit Kat bar, right, right. We're, not, we're not putting it 50 50. No, no, exactly. Definitely. exactly. Okay, okay. Have you tried the, have you tried the Twix? I'm not the Twix, but the, the stick kind. Yes, I, but I always go back to the OG. I you gotta go back. You gotta go back to the OG. Switch it up a little bit. You gotta go back to the OG. Yeah, yeah sure. even even the minis taste different to me. Like the I OG. have not had the minis because that's just that, they're just too small. I feel like I gotta have a whole real the original Reese cup. You know, make yeah. me feel good. I'm I'm the same way. We right here. We right here. Okay, so I know during this whole quarantine period of last year, 2020, people might've developed some new favorite snacks. So what snack of yours brings you joy? Um, snack. Are you a snack person? I'm, I'm more of a, I like a, yeah, like, you know, honey buns, the little Debbie honey buns. Like I could eat those like, like crazy Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> I can snack on those. Mm -hmm. um, great fruit. I, I got into like, I, I ate a lot of fruit, but stra definitely got into more strawberries, pineapples, blueberries over this whole pandemic and just kind of getting to the fruit. You know, I can eat those all day. See, I, I don't really relate because I was into the strawberry shortcake ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's strawberries in this. You can right. never go wrong with that. And a nice <laughs> cheesecake. You can never go wrong with it. See, listen, we here, we here. Okay, so next up is a movie that will always bring you joy. Movie that will always bring me joy. Um, I would have to say, I mean, the only thing that's coming to my mind right now is Lion King. Lion King will always bring if I if I if I just want to like 
we're going through the movie, oh, like, okay, I just need to find some joy. Like, The Lion King will definitely bring me joy. Uh, yeah. Just watching this Mufasa and, and, you know, Simba, just, come on, man. It's just a classic. Right here, and you got the and you got the OG VC, uh, the VHS, yeah, yeah. and Lion King and too, and Lion King too, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go watch it on Disney Plus. Can't forget about Lion King one and a half, yeah, 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 <laughs> one and a half, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every, everybody don't know about the one and a half. They leave that out for some reason, but Listen, you gotta, yeah. you got you. If you're gonna be invested into the Lion mm-hmm. King culture, you yeah. gotta know, you got to, you gotta know. yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm definitely gonna watch that tonight. Bacon for some bacon. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Don't give me started. <laughs> Listen, I told you guys before we even got started with the actual show, it is what it is. You guys have been rocking with me. If you know Real Talk Sports or the dialogue, this is just what we get, no matter the platform. Right. Okay. I can't, I can't control it. All right. We're here. Lion King. I love that. Let's see. What is a favorite TV show that Martin. brings you joy? You said Martin. 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 Yep. Yeah. Martin. Do you have oh, a favorite? Always... <laughs> Do you have one of um one of his characters that you like the most? Uh, Jerome in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Jerome. Oh, oh. The house. Yeah, yeah, he's he funny. Nah, he like it's just, <laughs> it's a... is that you, player? Come yeah, on. yeah. The, the player, the player's ball, <laughs> the one that the, the uh the one with a guy his the uh the I think the movie was getting shut down and they had a little player ball of the year. Yeah, that was one of the funniest ones, and the one with him and Pam too. That was pretty funny. Yeah, no, the song, <laughs> sing along. Oh, 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 yeah, you're right. Oh, 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 I say you're wrong in the high. I say you're wrong in the high. Listen, anything with him and Pam, I'm still. I don't think I'll ever get over her saying, "When you stood on the curb, your feet swing." I just. I just won't. <laughs> it's just you know. And you can really visualize that too. Exactly. You know you how the forget, is. You can't forget Dragonfly uh, Jones too. Yep. Yep. Silent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know. Yeah. Um, as as I like to call them, the cool kids. Even though I'm in the millennials too, they always say it lives rent free in my mind. That's yeah, yeah. The rent free, <laughs> definitely, definitely. For sure. Okay. Um. Let's see. The what's the last thing that you might have binged on Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, all of them, Amazon Prime? Have you binge watched anything lately, or maybe um, quarantine? I haven't been binge watched something. Um, I think the next thing I'm gonna start getting on to is uh Ballers. I think it's on HBO. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had uh, I had when I was in college, I like watched like a couple episodes, but then like uh, I seen it again on on the HBO. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into that and see what that's talking about. Yeah. yeah. I, Do you got I, any suggestions? Any uh, new suggestions? I okay, should so I don't know what level of nostalgia you're on, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I just got a Disney Plus last month. Yeah, so, same here. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been doing. I just watched Cinderella because it came on Disney Plus like two days right. ago. So right. that that was that was like a moment for me. But for you, yeah. um, let's see here. I watched Lilo and Stitch. I watched, um, what is it, uh, and it's not Anastasia, Antarctica, and... Hey guys, Valencia in post-production here. I could not think of the name of this movie to save my life, but it is Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Such a gem, and I definitely watched it twice. One of them Disney movies where they have to go find a hidden treasure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've been on, on my Disney, Disney Plus kind of binging, so Smart Guy is what I'm watching right now. Oh, that's a, that's a, he's a that's smart guy. Yeah, 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 they got all that on there. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and so it, this isn't necessarily nostalgia, well, I guess it kind of is, but yesterday and the day before, they had Rush Hour, all three of them on back to back to back. Anytime that's on, that's what I'm doing. You gotta watch it. That's, you, you yeah. Get- it's, it's a done deal. You got to. You got to. <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm doing for the next six hours. I'm watching. Right. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's just like a Friday. You got to watch Friday, Friday next. Yeah, you got to watch Exactly. It. Exactly. It's like you, you can't just watch one. When they say like like Pringles, you just you just can't eat one. You got to you gotta can't eat one. You got to fix. I love it. I love it. Okay. A couple other things that will always bring you joy. Um, your, a meal that your mom's cooks that's always going to bring you joy. What is on the plate? 
fried chicken with the jumbo with the jumbo drumsticks. Mm. Macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. And co and co collard greens. Mm. With a peach cobbler on the side. Whenever my mama says she's cooking, I know that's what's gonna be on the table. <laughs> I and love that. That's always gonna bring me joy. And also my grandma, she used to, when she when she stopped cooking now, but back in like all growing up, she used to have this spaghetti. I don't know what she put in it, but it was different. And it had to have first, seconds, and thirds, and to go play. So yes. uh, that's one of the things that I that just brings me joy. You know, haven't had it in the years, but still yeah. bring me joy just thinking about it. So yeah. right, I feel it. I feel the joy when you're yes. talking about it. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> bet, bet, bet. Okay, so that was our segment of things that bring Nate joy. Bada bing, bada boom, because we're celebrating mm -hmm. Black Boy Joy all Black History Month and beyond. So the next segment is going to deal with some songs. So you don't gotta sing unless you just feel led. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> okay. Me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, but I'll let, thank, thank you, producer. Thank you, producer. And the one and the two. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to get mine. I need to get mine. Right. Right. We'll get you one. We'll get you one. Okay. So Saturday morning, you wake up and you knew you weren't watching any cartoons. Instead, you were going to clean the house because you heard your mama play this song. What's one of them songs that was like, mm, uh, you my mama, my mama real like, my dad's a pastor. So my mom like used to always, uh, you know, all the Christian music. So um, probably some like some Yolanda uh, Adams and some, she used to be singing some, uh, some Kirk Franklin, anything yeah. you could really possibly, you know, a little stump, mm -hmm. little Kirk Franklin stump, like any of those songs, you can really best believe that she gonna be playing that loud and clear. You gonna be dusting. <laughs> Sleeping the floor, uh, mm -hmm. vacuuming, all day event. Not yeah. going nowhere until you get it done. Ain't going not a single place. <laughs> not <laughs> single place. Nope. Listen, I, I I feel you. I feel you on that. Um, that is always one of the things that's definitely like nostalgia for me. It's just them Saturday morning songs. Like, oh, okay, we're not going outside today. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, sure. <laughs> maybe next Saturday. <laughs> Okay, what is a song that either your parents or your aunt or uncles, somebody from your that generation, they said, man, Nate, you don't know nothing about this. Um what song is it? Song that I don't know nothing about. Or maybe an artist or anything, because I know, but us being in this generation, we always used to get that. Like, man, what you uh, know what's this? the guy? Uh I don't know his name. Uh oh, BB King. Mm. BB King, yeah, my my yep. my pops be talking about BB King a lot, like uh, music and stuff like that. So yeah, I I don't know nothing about BB King. I just know he's a great musician. So yeah. that that's pretty much it. For sure, for yeah. sure. I love that. My uh my grandfather was a jazz musician, so I knew okay. jazz before I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. and I blues like I was in third grade, sitting in my closet listening to these last two dollars, like just. <laughs> So unorthodox. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, okay. BB King is definitely a great. Our next segment deals with some trivia. Mm -hmm. And let me let everybody know here. All right. I got it down so I can make sure I have my own disclaimer because I need one for myself. <laughs> all right. Let me get in my voice real quick. Now here at The Dialogue, we know the Black experience is not monolithic. However, there are some things that culturally ring true for us all. That being said, this trivia segment is called <clears throat> Things a Black Mom Did Not Say. <laughs> okay. Things a Black Mom Did Not Say. Okay. 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 Did not say. So it's multiple choice. There'll be three answers and you tell me which one a Black Mom did not say. Did not say. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Number one, here is options A, B, and C. A, I ain't one of your little friends. B, who do I look like, Boo Boo the Fool? C, if you don't eat your vegetables, no dessert for you. C. 
Sí, qué bien. <risa> I'm not, not Boo Boo the Fool and not right. one of your little friends. Right. <laughs> Definitely. That's, yeah, yeah, I, okay. I don't know what it is. Probably, I don't know how, like, it kind of, maybe some some book that all the moms read or something. Like that. Yeah. For everybody sure. got that. Yeah, those liners, everybody got them. For sure. Now, um, everyone, you're going to hear an anonymous voice here, but it's not anonymous. For those of you guys that have watched the dialogue on Instagram Live, Nate, you'll be meeting for the first time. This is our producer, Mrs. SWK, also known as my Black mom. <laughs> you wanted to okay. commentate? Did you have something to say? I just needed you guys to hear it as a Black mother would say. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Who the hell I look like? Boo boo the fool? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Still, that that brought me back. So I need to go. Uh, I need to go put some extra pants on. I ain't trying to get whooped. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. 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 All right. Number two for our trivia's of things a black mom did not say. Option A. If you don't feel well, you can stay home from school today. Option B. I hope you know that schoolwork, like you know them songs. Option C. You got McDonald's money? Option A was not said by me. <laughs> like... <laughs> Listen, when I, I had too much fun coming up with this stuff because staying home from school, not feeling well, go drink a Sprite and lay down. <laughs> drink a ginger ale. Uh, you, school over at three o'clock, so go ahead, just toughen up. My mom was my middle school teacher. So like, you know, that middle school era when you know you get mm -hmm. sick or whatever, couldn't. Elementary school, she not come pick me up, dad not. But sometimes like, I was getting really sick though. Like whenever I didn't eat, mm -hmm. they'd be like, oh yeah, Nate really sick. Right. But they still would just like, oh, just lay down for 15 minutes and then get back up. Like skip right. recess and then you'd be all right. And if I'm at school, am I really skipping recess? Not at all. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you really, if you at school, like, I get it. But, you know, you at school with your friends. You at home, it's like, there's nothing we really can do. So I'm, if I'm, if I want to get out, like, it's for a real reason. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you have, you have more? <laughs> well, for each segment, I'm going to give you how a black mom would say it. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. You said you want McDonald's. You got McDonald's money? I don't, mama, no. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so our next one and the last one here is option A. <clears throat> you better behave or I'm going to put you in timeout. Option B. Don't touch nothing, don't say nothing, don't ask for nothing, you ain't getting nothing. Option C. A hard head makes a soft behind. I don't even know what timeout is. <laughs> People, somebody asked me the other day, like, uh, it's like you know, you were in timeout or getting your phone to. I'm like, get my phone to a uh, timeout. Like, no, that's not. Oh no, they said yeah, go to go to your room. Like somebody said, are you gonna be in timeout? And somebody else said, go to your room. Like who? No, it got handled on site. Go to your room. I I never heard of it. timeout. I don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Not at mm. all. Hate to see it. <laughs> Can we get the commentary? Which one do you guys want? Yes. Um. Do you have a preference of which one you'd like to hear? Um. Just either one. Either one. <laughs> either either one. one. Um. You could do the. Let's do. Let's do the. Don't touch nothing. Don't say nothing. Okay. We're about to go into the store. Don't touch nothing. Don't ask for nothing. You ain't getting nothing. You got everything you need at home. You hear me? I'm talking to you. <laughs> Go ahead, put it back. Go ahead, put the chips back, put the candy back. Go ahead, <laughs> put them in some random aisle, just throw it. <laughs> Didn't have no business. Didn't have no business, but I wanted it. It was shiny and I wanted it. And can, we're gonna backtrack real quick. Maybe you could lend a helping, a helping, uh, you know, a helping answer on this one. <laughs> Nate, I, I'm on the Twitter sphere, right? And each and every day, something new happens on Twitter. I'm just like, wow. That's really true. And I was on Twitter the other day and it said, McDonald's money wasn't a lot. Our moms were just mean. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if they lifted up the little compartment with a little elbow wrist, they could find a dollar and seven cents. Yes. 
for one McDouble or one cheeseburger. That's all I want. I ain't want a little happy meal. That's five dollars. Right. But now, do you want that one little McDonald's cheeseburger, or do you want me to put this money towards your education? <laughs> do you I ain't want that one little anyway. McDonald's cheeseburger? <laughs> Or do you want me to put this money on some sneakers for you? You want some Nikes or you want some Vikings? What you want? Not the Vikings. All I'm saying is, you know, the cheese, but we walk by McDonald's. I mean, everybody else got McDonald's. Yeah. I just want to, you know, get a little cheeseburger to make you feel better, a little toy, maybe. Maybe. You know, maybe. Yeah, my, oh, my thing was um the McChicken. That was that was my mm. go-to. But mm. yeah, and then it was even, it was even, it might have been under a dollar when we were coming up. It was just, you right. know. I just say that to say Twitter just lets me know some things that I don't always think about. I'm just like, yeah, oh. yeah. When you're younger, you don't think about it. And then you're older, you're like, hmm, it was only a dollar seven or less than a dollar. Hmm. Wait, and, Twitter. and Twitter's not run by a black mama. <laughs> <laughs> she That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. There, there is a black Twitter, but it's not run by a black mom. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm gonna I'm gonna go do the dishes now. Promise. Uh, <laughs> so my mama, I don't do no more dishes. I'm a visitor. Oh, I don't know that life yet. Nah, I told her on the phone. I ain't telling her in person. Oh, I understand. Yeah. I'm smart man. Smart man. That's why we're still. That's why you're here right now. That's why I'm here right now. Yeah, okay. for sure. What's the meme with the guy? I feel you. I feel you. Man. Okay. One thing that's not flaky is his jumper, though. One thing that's not flaky is the defense, though. Okay. Let's get into some real talk sports. Okay, you're rocking with the queen, Miss Valencia King, bringing often again the views live from the scene. Real talk sports in the house. Valencia King holding it down. 